So we've all looked in the mirror at one time or another and thought, when did I get so old? <laughs> it's just part of nature. We all are aging, but of course we want to do it as gracefully as we can. So today's video is sharing with you nine makeup mistakes that you might be making that might be making you look older than you want to look. So we've got some solutions for those problems, some tips and tricks, and we're super excited to be partnering up with Walmart for this video for their beauty savings event. So this is a great time to find some products that are going to help you look Look and feel your best because Walmart has hundreds of products both online and in-store that are part of this savings event and they're also going to be hosting an in-store event April 20th and 21st where you can go to a local Walmart store and see all kinds of exclusive deals and the first 50 people will also get a special beauty gift box so definitely go online check out those details but if you want to hear more about the great products that we love to help us look and feel our best and maybe feel a little bit younger then stay tuned yes we're gonna have all of those linked down below for you in the description box but as always thank you ladies so much for joining us if this is your first time here I'm Christina this is my best friend Kelly make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on our videos we release two videos a week every Sunday and Thursday the first makeup mistake that may be aging you is not prepping your skin. So it's so important to prep your skin before you put on makeup because it's really setting the stage for the application. And if your skin isn't properly prepped, the makeup won't lay as nicely and instead it emphasizes more of your pores and your fine lines. So you wanna make sure that you are using some good products and I'm gonna share with you some of mine. So I have very dark under eye circles. So these Peter Thomas Roth eye patches are ones that I use to really help to hydrate and moisturize the skin underneath my eyes. It really helps all of the products as far as the concealers, everything that I'm applying underneath my eyes. Um, to really just lay and a lot nicer and instead to prevent any sort of creping that can happen underneath the eyes. Another product that I love using are lots of serums. So they really help to moisturize your skin. But one of my favorite is this one by Image Skincare. So this one also has vitamin C in it. This is an anti-aging serum. Vitamin C is great for helping to really reduce any of those dark spots that you can get just as you age. Plus the serum in itself is really hydrating super helpful when you are getting ready to apply makeup and we all know we have to protect our skin from sun damage so having a moisturizer that has some sort of SPF in it. This one by Image Skin Care has an SPF of 30, so it really will help to keep the products that you're using in your nightly routine to you know, make your skin cell turnover. It helps to protect it and make sure that you're not just then having it re-damaged when you're going out into the sun You know, the following day. And finally, this is a product that really you should be using some sort of primer. So they have a lot that are on the market that do a bunch of different things, but this one by L'Oreal, this is an age perfect blurring face primer. This is great for blurring any of those pores and any of those fine lines that you have. So all of these products really just kind of help your skin to really get ready for all of the makeup that you're gonna be applying and help it to lay so much nicer and really create a flawless, beautiful look. So now that you have your skin all primed and moisturized and ready for makeup, we're gonna talk about one of my personal favorite products, which is concealer. Oh my goodness, if I only had one item that I could bring with me on a deserted island, I'm pretty sure it would be a concealer. Because of course, concealer is what really is going to help brighten underneath the eyes, hide any darkness, maybe disguise some fine lines and wrinkles, and any discoloration or age spots on the face it can be used for. So we found a great one that is also very budget friendly, and it is this Age Perfect Radiant Concealer by L'Oreal a very good one, perfect for mature skin. This one is not going to settle into those fine lines and wrinkles because it's really created for a mature woman, which is so important. So many of the concealers out there are 
thicker, heavier. You see a lot of it all over like Instagram with some of the younger influencers and they can just load up that concealer and it looks so beautiful and bright. However, when you're a mature woman and you try to put on your concealer that way, you're definitely going to have a big mistake on your hands because too much of it, too cakey, too heavy is really going to be aging. So you want to use a light hand with your concealer, but you also want to make sure that you're using a concealer that is specifically made for under the eyes and for mature skin. And this one by L'Oreal is perfect since it is created just for women like us who are over 40. Another makeup mistake that you want to avoid is using foundation that is too heavy and cakey. So of course, we all have those special events where we really need to, you know, have a glammed up look. We're going to be using heavier makeup, but for something that is more of just a daily kind of wear, one of my favorite foundation serums to use is this one by L'Oreal. This is the True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. So I actually have it in two different colors, one for the color of my skin during the winter time and one when I'm a little bit more bronzed during the summer time. So this is a great one. This is a serum that has a little bit of like foundation that's mixed into it. It's super lightweight. It doesn't settle into my pores. It really just helps to create very flawless look. So this is one that's super easy. You can apply it either with um, just just to your fingers or you can even use a makeup brush. I have tried it both ways and have found that the results are very, very easy. It does have a dropper, but I will tell you for me when I apply it, I just kind of take the applicator out and just brush a little bit on either one of my cheeks and then, you know, do my blending process, like I said, either with my fingers or with a uh, foundation brush. But this is a great one, super lightweight and will help to keep your skin looking very youthful and not cakey and having that very like heavy look. So your lines will be minimized and your skin will just honestly be glowing and looking flawless. So depending on the type of skin that you have, you may finish off your foundation by setting it with a little bit of powder, whether that's loose powder or pressed powder. It's basically just your preference for your skin type. But after we've done these steps of concealing, adding some foundation, maybe a little bit of powder, we can tend to have our skin look a bit matte, a bit dull, a bit more pale, and that can be very, very aging. So before we go in with anything else, an important makeup step that you really want to follow is using some bronzer. So don't think about bronzer just in the summer months when you want to add like a summery glow. Think about bronzer as just part of your routine. We use it whether it is fall, winter, spring, or summer just to add life back into the face, which is really important, especially for mature women. So this one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer. It's a great budget friendly bronzer. I love it. it comes in a variety of of shades and you just want to take some bronzer on a fluffy brush and just add it to some places where the sun would naturally hit you. So I like to do tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, my forehead, just adding some color back into the skin. If you like, you can also use this to do a little bit of sculpting to add some definition to your cheeks, a little bit of a nose contour, but it's really about adding life back in because a huge makeup mistake is to just dull out the skin with powders and make yourself look very washed out, that's just going to be very aging. So if you want to look younger, you definitely want to have a little bit of a glow. So the next makeup mistake that we wanted to share with you is one that deals with your blush. So a blush can come in so many different options. They've got matte, they have ones that have a lot of shimmer, and they have ones that are kind of in between. So we definitely recommend staying away from matte blushes. They can make your skin look a little bit dull and flat. However, those super shimmery ones that you see a lot of these like younger influencers and young girls wearing, it's also not a great one as you age because it can highlight all of the skin imperfections, all of your pores that are on your skin. So instead going with one instead that has more of just like a little bit of a glow to it. And the one that we wanted to share with you today is this one by L'Oreal. It's their Age Perfect Radiant Skin. So this is in the color Peony. As you can see, it has like a beautiful, like rosy kind of color. There's a little bit of glow to it, but not anything that is too shimmery that would highlight your pores and any of your fine lines. 
So it also has a little mirror that's on the back, so that's super convenient. The next thing about blush is also placement. So we all know that, you know, when we were younger, we used to place our blush right on the apples of our cheek, but as we get older, our skin, the texture of our skin, uh, elasticity of our skin also changes. So it's really important to kind of create the illusion of a lifted look. And by doing this, you can actually create a more youthful look. So it's super easy. The technique is really by making sure that you're applying the blush on a higher part of your cheekbone. So this can be from, you know, moving up your cheekbone up towards your temple, or you can even kind of create a little bit more of like a C where you go a little bit further up. So by having this higher placement on the cheekbone, it's creating the illusion of a lifted look. What you don't want to do is have your blush right on the apples of your cheek and drawing it either concentrated right there on that spot or by even if you are dragging it dragging it more horizontally because that will also like drag down your skin and the look of your face so by just applying it higher really can create more of a lifted youthful look to your skin so moving along from the cheeks to the eyes i want to talk about mascara and one of the big makeup mistakes that you can make is kind of neglecting your lashes, not putting in enough effort into the lashes because as we get older, our lashes get a little bit more sparse, they're a little bit thinner, maybe not as dark and fluffy as they used to be. And so you really need to give them a little bit of extra care because having a nice, beautiful, lush lash is really gonna make your eyes look wide open and beautiful and of course help you to appear more youthful. So one of the things that I think a lot of women are either unaware of or they don't do this step and it's such an important one is using a lash primer lash primer ladies it is a game changer so the first thing I do is I curl my lashes with a lash curler that's a really great important step I think it makes a huge difference but once you've got them curled you're gonna want to use a great lash primer this is really going to help to add some thickness and volume to the lashes and really prepare them for mascara and I love this one that I recently picked up this is the Maybelline lash sensational Sky High Lash Primer. What is special about this primer that I have never seen in another lash primer is that it is tinted. So instead of having that white flakiness that you typically have from most primers, this one already looks like you're putting on mascara, but it is a primer, so it's not gonna get hard or sticky. It's really beautiful. It coats the lashes with a black primer that really helps to thicken them up and get them ready for mascara so that when you then go in with your favorite mascara, you're really just gonna have the ultimate long lashes. So a mascara that I recently picked up and I think is a great one is this Age Perfect Mascara. This one is a beautiful black shade. I always recommend using black mascara. I think it's the best for really highlighting the lashes, but this is a really good one. It's got a very natural look. It doesn't get flaky or too thick or clumpy, but it's really nice on the lashes. So these two together make a really great pair to really create a long and lush lash, which is something that's really gonna make your overall look just prettier and more youthful. Another beauty mistake that you want to avoid is using a harsh black liner all the way from the inner corner of your eye to the outer corner of your eye. So this can create a harsh look, but it can also really close off the eye. So we've seen everything from older women using a liquid, black liquid eyeliner underneath the eye. Instead, what you wanna do is create more of a natural look. Ideally, you know, you're supposed to really not use anything underneath your eye. That'll create the um, eye looking much larger and bigger. However, we know that not everyone likes that look on themselves. So one of the things that we would recommend is using a brown or a lighter shade of eyeshadow underneath your eye, starting in the middle of your eye, going to the outer corner of your eye. So this will create much more of a natural look. You really kind of just want to blend it using a soft hand, creating you know a little bit of definition underneath the eye. However, if you are someone who likes to use a eye pencil underneath the eye, make sure that you are not starting from that inner corner, dragging that black 
eyeliner or pencil all the way to the outside of your eye. Instead, you'll want to start the same way, just kind of using the middle of your eye to the outer corner of your eye with that eye pencil shade, preferably in a brown or in a lighter shade and really making sure that you are blending and buffing out that line. You do not want a harsh line underneath your eye. It really will aid you. And instead by just using either an eyeshadow, not using anything underneath your eye or really buffing out a lighter colored pencil underneath your eye will create a much more youthful look. So we're moving along to the lips and there are two big makeup mistakes that can often happen with lips. Maybe you've made them. I know I've probably made them in the past. The first one has to do with lining the lips. So don't overline your lips. It's definitely going to be very aging and dated looking and can look a little bit clownish. It's not something you want to do. And don't line your lips with a color that is much darker than your actual lipstick shade. I have seen this a little bit lately. I think it's kind of a trend for the younger crowd, but it really just is not flattering for mature women. You want to stick with something that is close to your natural lip color color or at least closely matches whatever the lipstick shade that you chose is and you want to line your lips in a more natural way so you're you know not really gonna fake like lip injections with your lip liner it's never a good look go for something more natural and flattering to your lip shape and the next thing is has to do with picking out lipstick colors so a big makeup mistake for mature women are choosing those lipstick shades that have a lot of like iridescence and glitter and metallic metallic to them. These can be very popular. They can look really pretty in that tube, but they are not flattering on mature women. They're really just going to highlight any lines in the lips, any flakiness on the lips, and they just really make us look dated. So when you're choosing a lipstick, think about what's really going to suit your skin tone. You might be someone who likes a very natural lip shade, or you might be someone who likes something with a little bit more color, maybe something a little pinky or rosy shade. Try to go with those pinky rosy shades that are a little bit more natural and not too bubblegum pink. Those can also be very aging. So I recently found a great budget-friendly option by L'Oreal. I will link this one. It's shade 123. I think it's called like independent nude and it really is just this beautiful pinky nude shade. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today. I think those shades can be universally flattering on all women and the formula for this. It's not matte, but it's not super glossy. It's kind of like a semi matte look. So it's really flattering. It doesn't highlight any wrinkling or dryness in the lips, but make sure that you're picking a shade that really flatters you and avoid those iridescent pearlescent shades of the past. If you already did that back in the nineties, you're probably too old to be doing it again now. So the final makeup beauty mistake that will age you is extreme eyebrows. So you really want to create a very natural looking eyebrow, one that really kind of complements and frames your face and instead staying away from these extremes. So that can be everything from using a very harsh, you know, um, singular thin line with an eyebrow pencil or even creating like a very fluffy, dark, like caterpillar, like thicker kind of eyebrow. Anything that's too thick or too thin doesn't look natural. And really the best technique to use is to use an eyebrow pencil that really is as close to your natural hair color as possible on your eyebrows and really just using it to kind of fill in the areas that are a bit more sparse. A lot of these eyebrow pencils will also have a brush that you can then use to kind of blend out the light little wispy, you know, um, colored pencil that you're using to blend in with your natural eyebrow. And you can also even use an eyebrow gel to kind of keep all of your eyebrows in place. But for sure, what you don't want is that thin, harsh, you know, eyebrow pencil look, or, you know, looking as if you have, you know, like very thick, overdrawn, huge um, eyebrows on your face that really just don't suit your face, suit your frame, and instead just very, like, keep it natural, keep it as close to your natural eyebrow color is absolutely the way to go. Well, ladies, we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you love shopping at Walmart as much as we love shopping at Walmart, then make sure you check out our Walmart spring haul video next. We share tons of great fashion items with you over there, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.